Apparently we have magic, so we're going to use it. You attempt to paralyze the bandit with a spell. You quickly cast a paralyzed spell at the bandit, hoping to immobilize him. The spell hits the bandit, causing him to freeze in place. Taking advantage of the situation, you quickly move in and strike him with your weapon, knocking him out. Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan Kids. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Twitch, D-A-N-I-C-C-U-S, Danicus, and join the channel if you want to support us even more. Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Danicus back again with a brand new video. Today we are making a game with ChatGPT, a Skyrim text-based adventure. Uh, someone posted some... Uh, pictures I asked some questions they gave me some info and look at this play a text-based adventure game based on Skyrim with me but do not make any decisions for me and instead tell me options and generate stories based on that but give me all of the possible options for actions so he didn't send me that he sent me this like general thing and I edited it and he was saying you and this and that and I kind of combined it into one thing referring to me and locking it down tight. I tested it twice. Not played the game. I haven't done it yet. I tested it twice. And the first time it like played the game for me. It just kind of went whoop. Because I didn't say give me the options. Or I did not make any decisions for me. The second time I tested it with this. To see if it popped up. And it worked. So here we go. This is chat GPT.4. Or whatever the hell it's called now. I'm going to send it that message. I'm going to press enter. Sure, I'd be happy to play a text-based adventure game based on Skyrim with you. Here's the beginning of the adventure. You find yourself standing in front of the gates of Whiterun, the bustling city at the heart of Skyrim. The sky is clear and blue above you, and the sounds of the city echo in the distance. What would you like to do? 1. Enter the city through the gates. 2. Explore the area outside the city walls. 3. Look for a way to climb over the walls. 4. Wait for someone else to come along and show you what to do. Let's go with one. You enter the city through the gates, passing under the stone archway and into the busy streets. The smell of baking bread wafts from a nearby bakery, and merchants call out to you from their stalls. As you wander through the city, you notice a group of guards gathered around a, ma a man in ragged clothing. What would you like to do? One, approach the guards and ask what's going on. Two, keep your distance and observe the, situ observe the situation from afar. 3. Ignore the commotion and continue exploring the city. 4. Attempt to pickpocket one of the guards while they're distracted. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> you attempt to pickpocket one of the guards while they're distracted. As you move closer, you realize that there are, they are more alert than you expected. And one of them notices you reaching for his coin purse. The guard grabs your arm and says, What do you think you're doing? Trying to steal from the city guard, are you? What would you like to do? 1. Apologize and try to talk your way out of trouble. 2. Attempt to find your way out of the situation. 3. Bribe the guard to let you go. 4. Try to run away. We're running away. Boom! <laughs> try to run away, slipping out of the guard's grip and sprinting down the crowded street. The guard gives chase, shouting for you to stop. Stop! Halt! You dodge through the crowds, trying to lose your pursuer, but he is fast and turned determined. <laughs> you see an alleyway... You see an alley up ahead and quickly dart into it, hoping to lose the guard in the maze of narrow streets. As you turn a corner, you come face to face with a burly Nord man who clears you suspiciously. 1. Attempt to talk your way past the Nord. 2. Draw your weapon and prepare to fight. 3. Try to slip past the Nord and continue running. 4. Surrender to the Nord and hope for mercy. <laughs> um, we'll go with... Um, let's go with... One. Let's see what happens. He might be a friend. He might help me fight. You attempt to talk your way past Nord, explaining that you're being chased by the city guard and need to find a place to hide. The Nord eyes you warily, but seems to believe your story. All right, he says. You can hide in my house for a bit. There you go. Just don't cause any trouble. Got it? He leads you down in the alley into a small, cramped house. The interior is dimly lit and cluttered, with a table covered in bottles and a bed pushed up against the wall. What would you like to do? <laughs> Take his bed. Uh, one, thank the Nord and ask if there's anything you can do to repay him. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two, search the house for any useful items. Three, wait in the house until it's safe to leave. Four, try to sneak out of the house without being noticed. <laughs> we'll do one. Come friends with him. You never know. Thank the Nord for his kindness and ask if there's anything you can do to repay him. He scratches his beard thoughtfully. Well, 
There is one thing, he says. I've been having some trouble with a group of bandits who've been raiding caravans on the road. If you could take care of them for me, I'd consider us even. He gives you directions to the bandit hideout and hands you a key to a nearby gate. What would you like to do? Agree to take care of the bandits for the Nord. Refuse to help and try to leave the house. Ask for more information about the bandits before making a decision. Try to steal something from the Nord while you're not noticing. Uh, we'll go with three. You ask, you ask for more information about the bandits before making a decision. The Nord tells you that they're a group of ruthless thieves who have been terrorizing travelers on the road between White Run and Riverwood. He warns you that they're dangerous and well armed, but assures you that he'll reward you handsomely if you can eliminate them. Agree to take on the bandits for the Nord. If you help try to leave, ask for more information. It's, it's the same thing. So we're going to agree. Go on an adventure. You're going to take care of the bandits for the Nord. He thanks you and wishes you good luck. Leaving the house, you make your way towards the bandit hideout. As you approach the entrance, you see several heavily armed bandits patrolling the area. Attempt to sneak past the guards unnoticed. Take on the guards in a fight. Look for an alternate entrance to the hideout. Retreat and come up with a new plan. Hmm. Let's look for an alternate entrance. You look for an alternate entrance to the hideout. After scouting around the area, you notice a small cave entrance hidden behind some rocks a short distance away from the main entrance. Making your way towards the cave, you see that it leads into the bandit hideout. You cautiously enter the cave, trying to stay quiet and avoid detection. As you make your way through the cave, you notice several traps set up to deter intruders. You carefully avoid them, making your way deeper into the hideout. Try to take out the bandits one by one without being detected. Rush into the main area of the hideout and take on the bandits in a fight. Search for any valuable items for more information. Try to, sneak, we'll try to sneak out of the hideout without being detected. We'll go with three first. You decide to search for any valuable items or information. Moving silently through the hideout, you spot a small room with several chests and crates inside. As you approach the room, you hear the sounds of footsteps coming from the other side of the door. You quickly hide behind a nearby crate, peeking out to see who's approaching. A bandit enters the room, carrying a bag of loot. He sets the bag down on a nearby table and begins to count the coins inside. Sneak up behind the bandit and try to knock him out. Confront the bandit and demand the loot. Try to steal the loot without being noticed. Retreat and come up with a new plan. Um, we'll try to knock him out. You decide to sneak up behind the bandit to try and knock him out. Slowly, quietly, you approach the bandit from behind. As you get close, you see that he's armed with a sword and a dagger. You realize that taking him out silently might be more difficult than you initially thought. Attempt to knock out the bandit with a, sil with a sneak attack. Confront the bandit trying to reason with him. Try to disarm the bandit before taking him out. Let's tr let's just attempt to knock him out. I want to knock him out. Take his weapons. You attempt to knock out the bandit with a sneak attack. You quietly approach the bandit from behind. Try to strike him with your weapon. Fortunately, your attack misses and the bandit turns around, notice noticing your presence. He draws a sword and prepares to attack. Fight the bandit head on. Try to flee and regroup. Attempt to paralyze the bandit with a spell. Ooh, apparently I have magic. Look for any any inventor environmental advantages or hazards that you can use to advantage. Apparently we have magic, so we're going to use it. You attempt to paralyze the bandit with a spell. You quickly cast a paralyzed spell at the bandit, hoping to immobilize him. The spell hits the bandit, causing him to freeze in place. Taking advantage of the situation, you quickly move in and strike him with your weapon, knocking him out. When the bandit is taken care of, with the bandit taken care of, you continue to your search for valuable items and information. You find a map of the area indicating the location of several nearby bandit camps. Continue searching the hideout for more loot. Leave the hideout and make your way to other bandit camps. Confront the Nord about the information provided. Ask for more details. Um, we're going to continue. We're going to rest up and continue on your mission. Because we haven't taken this place out yet. You decide to rest and heal up before continuing your mission. You find a secluded spot within the hideout and take a moment to tend to your wounds and catch your breath. After resting for a few minutes, you feel ready to continue your mission. You make your way out of the hideout and head towards the nearest bandit camp. I thought this was the bandit camp. <laughs> As you approach the camp, you see several bandits patrolling the area. You, they notice you, draw their weapons, preparing, preparing to attack. Try to negotiate with the bandits. Take on the bandits in a fight. Use your surroundings to your advantage and try to gain the upper hand. Retreat and come up with a new plan. We'll go with three. You decide to use your surroundings to your advantage and try to gain the upper hand. Quickly scan the area for any environmental hazards that you can use to your advantage. You notice several lar large boulders scattered around the area. You also see a nearby stream which could be used to create a distraction. You quickly come up with a plan. You sneak up behind the bandits and you use magic to create a loud noise near the stream. The bandits turn to investigate, giving, up, giving you an opportunity to take them out from behind the cover of the boulders. Your plan works perfectly. You manage to take out the bandits without being detected. How do I take them out? <laughs> 
and you search the camp. You find several valuable items in a map that leads to the next bandit camp. <laughs> Continue on to the next bandit camp. Return to the hideout and confront the Nord about the information he provided. Explore the area around the bandit camp for any vi valuable items or information. Yes. Rest up or heal. We'll do a three. You decide to explore the area around the bandit camp for any valuable items or information. You carefully search the surrounding area, checking for any hidden caches or valuable items. After a thorough search, you find a hidden stash of coins, and a letter reveals the bandits plan to attack a nearby village. It also mentions the location of their leader's hideout. Nice. With this new information, you realize that you need to act quickly and stop the bandits who perform attacking the village. Head directly to the bandit leader's hideout. Warn the village of the pending attack. attack. Return to the hideout and confront the Nord with the information you provided. We'll head directly to the bandit leader's hideout. You decide to head directly to the bandit leader's hideout. With the information you found, you quickly make your way towards the hideout. As you approach the hideout, you see several guards patrolling area. You also notice that the entrance is heavily guarded. Um, try to sneak in undetected. Fight your way through the guards. Find another way into the hideout. Retreat and come up with a new plan. We'll find a new way into it. Go directly for the leader. Uh, you carefully survey the area looking for an alternate entrances and weak points in the structure. After a few minutes of searching, you notice a small window on the side of the building that appears to be unguarded. You quietly make your way over to the window and peer inside. You see a small room with a few with a few crates and barrels scattered around. You carefully climb through the window and land softly on the ground. As you make your way through the room, you notice a guard standing outside the next door. You quickly cast a spell to create a diversion, causing the guard to investigate the noise. With the guard distracted, you slip through the door and into the main area of the hideout. Stealthily take out any guards you come across. Look for any valuable items information. Head straight into the bandit leader's room. Retreat and come up with a new plan. We'll stealthily take out the guys first. Carefully move through the hideout, using your knowledge of stealth and combat to take out any guards that cross your path. You manage to take out several guards without being noticed, without being detected, but eventually you come across a group of bandits who are patrolling the area near the bandits' leader room, leader's room. They are heavily armed and would be, would be difficult to take out silently. Try to take out the guards silently one by one. Use magic to create a distraction to pass the guards. Confront the guards. I don't want to. Well, we're going to use magic because we got magic. You decide to use magic to create a distraction and still pass the guards. You quickly come up with a plan to create a loud noise on the other side of the hideout, drawing the guards away from the bandit leader's room. Cast a spell and create a loud noise near the entrance of the hideout. The guards quickly turn to investigate, giving you an opportunity to slip past them and into the bandit leader's room. Inside the room, you find the bandit leader sitting at a desk, poring over a map. He looks up at you as you enter, and his hand moves, moving to the hilt of his sword. Confront the bandit leader head on in a fight. Try to reason with the bandit leader and convince him to call for the attack. Use magic to incapacitate the bandit leader. Retreat and come up. Let's try to reason with him, see what happens. You step forward and speak calmly to the bandit leader, explaining that the attack on the village will only bring more trouble to him and his men. At first, the bandit leader seems skeptical, but after some convincing, he begins to see reason. He agrees to call for the attack and disband his gang, <laughs> promising to leave the area and never return. With the bandit leader's co cooperation, you have managed to prevent a devastating attack on the village and put an end to the bandit gang's reign of terror. Congratulations, you've successfully completed your mission and brought peace to the area. Well done. Woohoo! That was awesome. <laughs> didn't take that much work, honestly. Uh, I didn't even break a sweat. Um, that was really cool. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to make many videos of this. Uh, this is Skyrim. We'll try Oblivion. We'll try Morrowind, Daggerfall, Arena. We'll try all of them. We'll try. We'll try. Uh, we'll try the card game version. We'll try the that cheap one, the like mobile version. We'll try all the different games and see what it comes up with. That's pretty cool. We'll go into the old mobile games, the like old Nokia gauge ones. Like, uh, we'll try all the or Elder Scroll games in this and see what it does. See what it comes up with. That was pretty cool. We'll do more Skyrim ones as well. Like that was really fun. So uh, if you like this, come back for more because I'm definitely gonna do more of this. This is really fun. I like this. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do some art for these eventually or something, or I'll turn this into a story because I'm doing some audio series coming up. So if you like this, come back for more. There'll be a lot more like it, guys. Thanks very much.